but still try, for who knows what is possible. Lectures which really teach will never be popular. Lectures which are popular will never really teach. The book of nature which we have to read is written by the finger of God. Nothing is too wonderful to be true if it be consistent with the laws of nature. A man who is certain he is right is almost sure to be wrong. There is nothing quite as frightening as someone who knows they are right. Since peace is alone the gift of God, and as it is he who gives it, why should we be afraid his unspeakable gift in? His beloved Son is the ground of no doubtful hope. I have far more confidence in the one man who works mentally and bodily at a matter than in the six who merely talk about it. The important thing is to know how to take all things quietly. I shall be with Christ, and that is enough. I am no poet, but if you think for yourselves as I proceed, the facts will form a poem in your minds. Nature is our kindest friend and best critic and experimental. Science, if we only allow her intimations to fall unbiased on our minds. It is right that we should stand by and act on our principles, but not right to hold them in obstinate blindness or retain them when proved to be erroneous. All are sure in their days except the most wise. He is the wisest philosopher who holds his theory with some doubt. I happen to have discovered a direct relation between magnetism and light, also electricity and light, and the field it opens is so large and I think rich. I can at any moment convert my time into money, but I do not require more of the latter than is sufficient for necessary purposes. Speculations, I have none, I am resting on certainties. Nothing is ever too good to be true. Why will people go astray when they have this blessed book to guide them? I am busy just now again on electromagnetism and think I have got hold of a good thing but can't say it may be a weed instead of a fish that after all my labor I may at last pull up. Physicist is both to my mouth and ears so awkward that I think I shall never use it. The equivalent of three separate sounds of I in one word is too much. A center of excellence is, by definition, a place where second-class people may perform first-class work. It is on record that when a young aspirant asked Faraday the secret of his success as a scientific investigator, he replied the secret is comprised in three words, work, finish, publish. Work, finish, publish. Water is to me, I confess, a phenomenon which continually awakens new feelings of wonder as often as I view it. The philosopher should be a man willing to listen to every suggestion, but determined to judge for himself, he should not be a respecter of persons, but of things, truth should be his primary object. And what good is a baby? The world little knows how many of the thoughts and theories which have passed through the mind of a scientific investigator. 
have been crushed in silence and secrecy by his own severe criticism and adverse examination. I will simply express my strong belief that that point of self-education which consists in teaching the mind to resist its desires and inclinations until they are proved to be right is the most important of all not only in things of natural philosophy but in every department of daily life the lecture should give the audience full reason to believe that all his powers have been exerted for their pleasure and instruction I cannot conceive curved lines of force without the conditions of a physical existence in that intermediate space. I could trust a fact and always cross-question an assertion. It may be a weed instead of a fish that, after all my labor, I at last pull up. It is the great beauty of our science chemistry that advancement in it, whether in a degree great or small, instead of exhausting the subjects of research, opens the doors to further and more abundant knowledge, overflowing with beauty and utility. There is no more open door by which you can enter into the study of natural philosophy than by considering the physical phenomena of a candle. Chemistry is necessarily an experimental science. Its conclusions are drawn from data and its principles supported by evidence from facts. Why, sir, there is every probability that you will soon be able to tax it said to William Gladstone, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, when he asked about the practical worth of electricity. With respect to committees as you would perceive I am very jealous of their formation, I mean working committees, I think business is always better done by few than by many. who would not have been laughed at if he had said in 1800 that metals could be extracted from their ores by electricity or that portraits could be drawn by chemistry. Nothing is too wonderful to be true. When the contrary magnetic poles were on the same side, there was an effect produced on the polarized ray and thus magnetic force and light were proved to have relation to each other. The condition of matter I have dignified by the term electronic, the electronic state, what do you think of that? Am I not a bold man, ignorant as I am, to coin words 